I'm using a flesh colored pencil to plot out where I want the two sides of my face to separate. And for the dead side of my face, I'm using a white color foundation. For the normal side of my face, the one that's supposed to look alive, I picked a warm toned foundation, which I took all the way down the neck and onto my ears. And for my eye base, I picked Untitled Paint by MAC, just so my eyeshadow sticks better. I'm now lining my eyes top and bottom using a black pencil by MAC, and I'm slightly smudging it out with a pencil brush because, let's face it, this makeup is not supposed to look fresh. This is the last makeup she wore before dying, so it's been kind of lived in, pun intended. I'm now laying down the base for my contouring using my Hollow Pigment by Elamasco, which is a beige grayish shade and I'm placing that in the hollows of my cheeks and on the bags that I want to create underneath my eyes and in my socket line as well. I'm picking up some dark gray eyeshadow just to deepen up the hollows that I've created so again I'm going over my crease and underneath my eye bags and of course in the hollows of my cheeks. I'm filling in my brow as usual using my dark brown eyeshadow which I would normally use on myself and next I'm applying a coat of mascara. We don't care about clumps really because we're dead so yeah top and bottom and then I'm using that same dark brown eyeshadow I used for my eyebrows to deepen up my contours even more and I'm adding a few lines using concealer just to make my under eye bags look worse. I'm covering up one eyebrow using glue stick and while I wait for it to dry I'm applying the same eye base on the other side of my face and I'm going into the outer V with a warm peachy eyeshadow just for some shading. I'm going to line this eye with liquid eyeliner instead of a pencil which I used for the first eye because frankly I don't really care how it turns out. I want it to look sort of bad. This is a dead woman who paints herself alive over and over again with acrylic paint, so how good can it look? I'm creating a thick black line underneath the eye as well, and for the waterline, I'm going in with my white eye coat just so it looks awake but in an unnatural way. I'm warming up the crease even more with some pink eyeshadow, and I'm applying loads of mascara. I'm cleaning up underneath my eyes with plenty of concealer. I want my line to be very crisp, and next, I'm moving on to my high coverage powder which is going to cover up my brows just so I can draw on them and the brow I'm going to draw is going to be really wonky I want to draw a bad eyebrow I'm using the same dark brown eyeshadow that I used for my normal eyebrow and I'm topping it up with some black eyeshadow just so it looks even thinner and more unnatural I'm applying a generous amount of hot pink blush on the apples of my cheeks without blending it and next I'm filling in the entire lip with a vivid pink lip pencil and I'm also outlining the outside of the lips with a darker pink lip pencil just so it looks more exaggerated. Adding some brown on the waterline and next it's time for my huge false eyelashes. I'm also adding a bit of that hot pink blush in my crease just so I warm it up even more and also some light on the lid and now I'm ready to apply my glue whatever I want to place my paper which is going to represent the acrylic paint chipping away. I'm making sure I fold the paper in two because I want one side of it to stand away from my face. I'm also adding some more glue onto the seam just so it sticks a bit better and I'm repeating the same process with much smaller pieces of paper which I'm again folding and coating with glue once more on my forehead, towards my nose, and towards the neck. I'm using my duo eyelash glue for all of this, and while I wait for it to dry, I'm going in with my bright pink lipstick, and then I'm adding some vanilla pigment all over my face because I want to give it this plastic look to it, sort of like a doll-like effect. And now I'm going to go ahead and paint the kitchen paper the same color as my skin, so I'm using the same warm tone foundation that I have on most of my face to paint the paper. I'm painting it on both sides, taking care that I don't rip it apart. This is going to make the paper a little more fragile, but that's going to help it stand a lot better and if it looks a little bit wet, that works to our advantage. I chose to incorporate both of the looks in the movie the dead look and the badly painted on so it looks alive look because I love both and I really wanted to include them in one look. Now I'm just setting the dead side of my face with some white eyeshadow 
And I'm also using that same gray eyeshadow I used in the beginning to add a bit of shadow on the places where the skin colored paint is supposedly chipping away. The two different brushes give two different shadow effects, so that makes for a more natural result. Now I'm setting my good brow in place and I'm adding some pink lip gloss to finish off the look. I'm putting on my pearls because dead, yes, but still glamorous. I'm tucking away my hair just so it looks like I have a side thing going on. This is fake hair, which I'm sticking on my head right now. And I'm also adding my final touch, my feathery headpiece. One single creepy contact lens on the dead side of the face and that completes the finished Death Becomes Her inspired Halloween look. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!